Okay, that was quick, wasn't it? That was quick. Let's see. Um, I'm going to set this. Okay. Not that you have to watch me do this necessarily, but... Okay, I guess since I'm up here like this, I'll just sit up. It's still a little warm. Sit up here on top of the microwave. Don't really want... I want to get, make sure I don't get anything on the microwave. I'll use my paper towels that I had for, really for while I was eating. But this is how I do it. I like these Marie Collender's TV dinners a lot, but they're really good with cheese on them. So I get me my... They call it here, if you get it at Walmart, it's called Fiesta Blend Cheese. It's got uh, Monterey Jack Cheddar, uh, Quesadilla, and Acedero Cheese. And then there's one called Mexican Cheese that I used to use it to get at Brookshire's. Pretty much the same, except it's got, I think it's got a little bit, it may have one less type of cheese in it. Cheese is good for you. It gives you protein and vitamin D is added into it and stuff too, you know. It doesn't have that much grease in it. My cholesterol came out good. That's the last time I got it checked. So there. Yeah, see I got cheese all over the place. So, uh, there we go. Now I do it. Usually takes a couple more minutes. But I do them what? Still cold. It's, I mean, it's not cold, cold anymore. It warmed up like the what would be the inside house room temperature, probably. I lost some cheese there, but it's okay. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to put it in the trash. I don't want to leave it. To, I don't guess it matters, but. Being in the garage, I could have thrown it in the floor like I do one of other things when I'm working, but let's be neat, neat and tidy on the video. So, I guess I'll throw this bottle, well, I'll leave it here for now. That's right where I'm going to cook my TV dinner. You know what? I'm going to use that box. It's going to take me a minute to get back in the house, get set up before I can sit down and eat. It's not warming up. So, because I'm fixing to bring this, I'm going to send back that RCA microwave I keep talking about and making other videos of. Because it blew the breaker twice I filmed up. Okay, don't stick. I used to stick my finger in there. And I finally figured out you can just stick the fork in the food and then taste, just kind of touch it to your tongue and you can tell. See if the temperature's staying the same, it has a kick back. What it kept doing before was kicking back down to eight. So if with that uh, power strip in such bad shape, no wonder it was doing that. Probably has some sort of uh, overload protection that was kicking it back down. Because it does have a lot of smart features, quote, quote. Um, it's supposed to sense humidity and all this stuff. Try not to... Uh, you know, over dry the food and stuff. So that it might have been, you know, it could have been throwing the sisters off or something. So anyway, I really thought this thing was going out and I was so mad about it. And now it turns out the new one I bought to replace it, which had the best reviews of most of them I saw in the price range of 80 this was a $79, $80 to $150, what I was looking at. Um, so I think I'm going to try sucking this back in the box. Help keep it warm. So while I'm getting set up in there, and it won't burn my hands. I'm going to leave that like that. I don't know if it matters. I'll unplug it until I'm not going to be running it out here again. But uh, the other one is going to have to go back to 
Amazon. Anything brand new that blows the blows breaker. Didn't blow the breaker in the house. It blew, we have it on a power strip, so it blew the 15 amp breaker on a power strip twice, is what I've been told. So, supposedly, and I'll go into that with the other video on the RCA, but uh, this one may be okay. It may have been what I just showed you on the uh, the corrosion in the. I mean, definitely that would cause trouble. I, mean, I don't care what you're trying to run on something that corroded. So, maybe the microwave itself is okay. and if it will if it will run okay and not kick back down into the lower power level where it ruins your food uh, then it'll be all right you know if it'll stay in tin and because your tv dinner what it'll do is it'll be cold in the middle and burn the outsides by the time you get it by the time you get it warm in the middle it's it's burnt on the outside is what i'm trying to say so um we'll see all right this dawn i gotta go eat